Hey Budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are doing a complete binder rearrange. We are adding a business binder. We are completely shuffling and recategorizing all of our binders. So I'm very excited about today's video. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jordan. We love doing cash stuffings on this channel. We cash stuff on Mondays and Fridays. We also talk about making Etsy and YouTube our full-time income because I am a single mom who makes all of my income and all of my money off of Etsy and YouTube. I'm a homeschooling mom. I'm kind of doing a little bit of all of the things and I very much enjoy sharing the journey and sharing what I'm learning and what I'm doing on this channel. We would love to have you as a part of our budget fam here. It is a very fun group, a very kind group and knowing you guys and doing this for the last year has been the absolute like highlight of my life aside from my kids, of course. They are, <laughs> they are what it's all about. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. First, I wanna talk about sort of the idea of what I'm doing before I start shuffling things around because pay attention to this point, guys, because it's gonna get a little bit chaotic as I start doing all of the things. I do have new labels here. I have some new envelopes because I think we're gonna have more categories as we are definitely adding in a completely new binder. First, I guess a little disclaimer. As you guys know on this channel, I very much enjoy shuffling around my Money. I enjoy changing my categories as I feel inspired to do so. I know a lot of people that do cash budgeting. They pick their categories, they stick with it, and that is what works for them. If that is you, that is amazing. Keep doing whatever works for you. You guys know I give this little spiel from time to time that I like to change things around because that's what keeps me inspired. The main point of cash budgeting to me is one, to spend less, and two, to save more. Okay, if it is inspiring you, whatever you're doing, if it's inspiring you to save more and spend less, then you are doing it right. Keep doing whatever works for you. I am a person though that I will, after a few months, I'll start to feel kind of uninspired. It'll start to feel cluttered and confusing. So I will reshuffle, add new categories, take away categories. I might take money completely away from something and just do away with a category. I just do whatever is making me feel inspired. So I don't feel like I've been doing anything wrong to this point because this, the binders as they were, have been very inspiring to me. They have been helping me to save money and they have been helping me to spend less on frivolous spending, like just random coffees or a random piece of furniture, whatever the case may be. So with that little disclaimer out of the way, because I know sometimes this can be a bit much to just start shuffling money around and changing things. I have found a, I've sort of been, I've been thinking the last couple of days about how I can rearrange my binders to make them work for where I'm at now. And I have thought of a really simple way, but like it's a simple genius kind of situation. I haven't seen somebody else do exactly what I'm about to do and how I'm about to break up my categories but I feel like this is what's really gonna work with for me and I feel like it might be something that I'm able to stick with and not change things around so much. So what am I talking about? Let me just tell you. I am going to change my binders, not necessarily by category, like there's not gonna be a kid's binder, there's not gonna be an emergency binder anymore. It's going to go by, by time frames and like when I will need that money. So I'm even going to have it color coded here, okay? So my clear binder is going to be for weekly spending. My pink binder will now be for monthly spending. The red binder is going to be for business spending, but I feel like business spending is also like a monthly thing. So these are kind of like my monthly binders. So weekly, monthly spending, quarterly savings. So that is going to be for things like getting one month ahead. So within the quarter, I would love to complete the one month ahead, for example. You guys will see the other categories that I put in here, but just think like these are sort of quarterly goals and things that I won't be reaching for as much as monthly or weekly, but not like long-term. The blue binder here is going to be for yearly spending, things that come around once like back to school, birthday parties, Christmas, those kinds of yearly things. And then the black binder is going to be for long-term goals, things like emergency savings, new phone, like new phone isn't something I necessarily need this year. It's just like if and when it happens. Retirement, legacy, like donations. So I'm going to go through all of the categories, break these all down. Like I said, this might be a two part thing. I don't typically have all of the binders out here at once. But before I just start shuffling and things get a little bit crazy, I wanted to lay out the basics that we are basically categorizing by weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, and then long-term, which 
maybe yearly, maybe even longer. You guys will see how I'm doing that. So pretty simple idea, but I haven't seen somebody else necessarily do it this way. And we're going to talk about the categories as we go through. I'm also not sure if I'm going to unstuff all of the cash. That would be on part two, like tomorrow, if I do end up doing that. Today is gonna to focus mostly on getting labels where they need to be and getting categories where they need to be. So this is mostly gonna be chatty, a little bit less cash heavy, but I think tomorrow we might pull all of this money. We will see how that's gonna go. I'm honestly not sure. But if you are new around here, I do want to take a moment to mention all of these are custom labels from my Etsy shop. Pretty much anything you see in my binders, you can find in my Etsy shop. Okay, so to start this out, we are going to start with our weekly spending. This is something that I normally have with me, right? Like it is my groceries, my gas, dining out. All of these categories are going to stay the same. This is the variable binder that I do sell on my website. You can look on the Jordan Budgets Etsy shop and if you see the variable binder, these are all the categories that come in that. We're going to leave all these the same. These are like my weekly spending, entertainment, miscellaneous. We're just going to add a couple of categories. These last categories, they are in the HP Harry Potter print and these categories don't come in the variable spending binder. So I am going to just change the pattern to keep that clear in my videos like what comes with the variable binder and what is just added on for me but so typically things like teacher allowance and coffee these are categories that would first off coffee was just not in my budget and it should have been its own thing and teacher and allowance was something that was in I think my bills but realistically I'm gonna be paying this teacher weekly and I'm just gonna be paying her cash. So I want to go ahead and put it in this weekly binder because these are things that will be coming up weekly. Also allowance for my kids. I was not very good at giving them their allowance because it just was not in the binder that I'm grabbing all of the time. So I wanna have just the allowance that I need to give them for that week, keep it in my weekly binder so that I can easily grab it and give them, give them their allowance. Okay, let me get some of these trackers in the Harry Potter print. Benefits of my office being where I also film, right? All of my stuff is right here. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Thursday? By the time I get this uploaded, it's probably gonna be a little late. I did spend a lot of this morning and this afternoon just thinking about my categories. I wanted to make sure I got this right. What am I doing? The tracker side goes on the inside and then this goes like that. Okay, so that is our weekly binder. This is the only binder we did not really need to change around very much because it was already set sort of how I needed it. And we don't have any money in here because this week we are doing the bare minimum when it comes to spending because it's my kids last week in summer camp and I will likely be spending a lot more this next week and then as we transition into school time. So, you know, here we are. So this binder is done. This is our weekly spending and you guys will see me stuff that on Mondays. Same with this monthly and the business. So our monthly is really our bills, right? And some of the monthly expenses that come around. And then this is going to be our bills binder. So all three of those binders will get stuffed on Monday, then leaving our quarterly savings, our yearly savings and our long-term savings. All of those will then be getting stuffed on Fridays during a regular week. So I did not change any of this around yet. It is going to be a hot mess. Let me just see. So this is gonna turn into our new bills binder. We are gonna keep haircuts and sick days in here but we are moving these sinking funds or savings challenges that were in here before. Oh, you know what? We already had teacher money. I'm telling you guys, this might be a little all over the place. Okay, so going back, we actually had some teacher's money set aside already. So let's go ahead and pull that 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50, 250. I am actually going to, let's see, 50, out of that teacher money, I'm actually gonna pull 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars because that is what I need to pay her for this coming week whenever she comes. I don't think she's coming this coming week. I think she's gonna start the next week. I would like to have one week off with the kids where they're not in summer camp. They haven't started with the teacher or any of their co-ops or anything yet. So another update, I was saying that teacher was gonna be 125. Her hours, just because of scheduling conflict, she's actually gonna be coming a bit less. So it's only gonna be $90 per week, which honestly I think for 
her first semester with the boys. I think that's going to work out perfectly. So anyway, let's get back to putting some of these categories in. So our bills is being changed away from the color block style for now. And we're going to go with the new mermaid print. I love this mermaid print. It is new to the shop. And so I'm very excited to use it in my binders. I had a couple of them in there before, but I wasn't using like this many. What do you guys want to chat about while we change out these categories? So I do want to mention typically my bills would be on their way to getting stuff like these wouldn't be empty like this. I'm filming this on July 28th. So I just pulled all of the money from all of the bills. I've paid all of the bills for August. And now like in a couple of days, we will start restuffing these categories on this next upcoming Monday so that we will be ready for September's bills. So we're just going through taking off the labels. I do want to mention like these labels are really easy to come off. So these have been on here for a while and they peel right off. I was not using removable sticker paper for a little while when I first started my Etsy shop. And I realized, I mean, literally just for the first couple weeks. And then I realized like, this is a mistake. It's going to ruin everybody's zipper pouches. And I didn't want that to happen. So I've been using removable mat ever since. It is a lot more expensive if you are somebody who's on the market to, to buy it, like for your own Etsy shop. But in my opinion, it is a thousand percent worth it because when your customers go to remove the labels, if you ruin all of their zipper pouches and stuff, then of course they're not going to keep shopping with you, right? So in my opinion, it is worth the cost. And I've really liked them like on a user endpoint. I've really enjoyed the removable stickers. Almost done for this. And then we will, can kind of quickly go through the categories and see what I have in here. And of course, I haven't been using my trackers because I do cash up on screen like and on camera with you guys constantly throughout the week. So I pretty much usually have a good running amount of what is in my binders and what is not in my binders. To be honest, if I were not on camera, I would take the time to go ahead and write and track everything. It's just because I don't want to hold you guys up. So I, I don't do that. Guys, pool fiasco while I'm just sitting here and thinking, I finally got everything right with the pool is doing amazing. And then the guy who comes and cuts my grass, absolute sweetest soul on the planet. I love him. He accidentally ran over the pool pump line, like the, the electric cord. So I need another, <laughs> so I'm going to need to get a new pump. I just got everything figured out. I hope it comes in time. I hope it comes in time before the pool turns green or we have any issues because I literally just got it together. It was an accident. He offered to pay for it, but I don't want him to buy me another pump. I have a small pool. I want to say the pump is like $60. I'm just going to figure out that money. I don't want him to have to cover it, but I'm only mentioning it because y'all know I just got my pool stuff figured out. And then here we are. It's going to go without a pump for a few days and it's not going to work again. <laughs> so rent and electric, both are bills. Pets is not a bill yet, but I think I'm going to get a Chewy subscription so I will know exactly what I'm spending on their hay and their food every single month. I do have guinea pigs. More bills are internet and water bills, pool and gym, renter's insurance, and gas line, gas bill. Those are all monthly bills. The only thing that is new that is maybe not necessarily a bill is automatic things that are coming out. I'm going to get better about tracking all of those automatic things like Disney Plus or whatever. And know exactly how much I'm paying for automatic purchases for myself and the kids. And then haircuts and sick days, those are not bills, but I feel like they fit better in a monthly binder instead of some of the other categories because I need to really get better about saving for haircuts for the boys every single month and hair, a haircut for me every few months. And then sick days, I just feel like that comes around more on a monthly basis rather than a weekly or a quarterly. So I thought it fit best here. So that is our new bills or monthly binder. Let's move on to our business binder, which is going to be a completely new binder and new categories. So let's chat about that. If you missed my recent chats about business, business is not something I'm going to be putting actual money or cash into. I'm going to be putting placeholders into this. So I don't think I'm going to start this binder just yet. I'm working on some of my placeholder designs and then that will be listed in the shop and I will be using them in this binder. So I'm very excited about that new release, but I have a couple of things to work out before that happens. So I think this binder, realistically, we will start it in a month, not in a month, in a couple of weeks. I 
can say, however, I'm very excited to announce that I did get a business like tax ID number. I have a business account now and I'm working on getting all of my income shifted over to that business account. And then I will start paying myself a certain amount to put into my other binders. And then the money that stays in the business account, we will play with placeholders or fake money to just share with you guys where I'm putting tax money, like how much I'm putting into different categories. These are the labels for my business binder. I am very excited to do like the fall leaves print because we are moving into fall. I feel like I'm covering everything with the mermaid labels in the previous binder and then moving on to the fall leaves. For this binder, I'm kind of covering all the seasons, but I thought these fall leaves were beautiful in this red binder. So I thought this was a perfect excuse to get to use this print. We are going to start out this binder with taxes. You guys know that is just something that has to get paid and has to get done. I am going to be using the labels, but I think I'm also going to be including the freebie for the month. So if you guys don't know, if you get a physical purchase or physical items from me, it always comes with a freebie. The freebie for July was this cute 1000 Jordan budgets freebie. You get to write like whatever you're saving for. Once you color all of this in, you have a thousand dollars. I'm going to put this here for now, but of course we're about to switch into August. So the print is going to change and I will change that out. So we will be doing a tracker. I think my goal for taxes is going to be saving $1,000 every single month. Honestly, with the way I spend on the business and stuff, I don't even know that I need to be setting aside $1,000 because I have so many expenses because I'm constantly creating new things. But if I can save $1,000, I feel like that would make me feel better. And maybe that's how much I need to save. Honestly, if you guys don't know this yet, then you should just know that out of all of the things I do, I feel like my business side of budgeting is not all there yet. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. But the cool thing is I've only been in business for less than a year at this point, And I've been able to take you guys along this entire journey with me. So I feel like you guys get to learn a little bit of what's happening and what I'm thinking as we're actually going through it. So that's a cool little way to like document things. You guys are getting real time things that I figured out and things that I am still confused about, right? Tax prep. So I recently re reached out to small business something something another I don't know <laughs> there's there's free resources for new and small businesses and I think I might be able to get some free tax help this first year if I can't get free tax help though I do have a family friend that does taxes her fee is about 1200 to 1500 for the year so like at the end of the year when I need her help maybe 1500 so my goal is to put a hundred dollars towards tax prep help every single month Again, if I can, I don't really know where I am as far as this budget for business goes, but ideally we're working towards our ideal and ideally I would be putting a hundred dollars aside every single month towards that. There are some automatic purchases like for Squarespace, my website host that is going to happen very, very soon and some automatic things that come out as far as like my editing softwares and things. So I'm going to be adding those up. I probably will add those on the tracker so you guys can see it. And we will have a monthly fee of like whatever that those automatic purchases are totaling. And we will try to stuff that every single month. Next things are Jordan budget materials. That is meaning things for like materials we need for creating things and getting out products on the Etsy shop. And the reason I'm differentiating is because Jordan Budgets materials is going to be a separate category from planner materials. I have not yet announced the planner name to you guys. So this little heading will change as we announce that name brand, but planner materials or that other brand that I'm working on launching, I want to know exactly how much I'm spending on those two different things and sort of set different goals. So that's why I'm separating those. Two more categories. The next one for business is going to be shipping and packing. I would love to get a better handle on how much I'm spending for shipping and packing. Let me just say, I feel like this binder is really me, like it's helping me to get a better handle on even what I'm spending on things because my business budget admittingly has not been being written down the same way that it should be. I haven't been tracking it or keeping up with it that well. So we are going to start tracking and seeing how much we need for shipping and packing. And honestly, once I have a better idea of how much I'm spending on all these things, I should be able to 
better budget and price my items. I think they're all fairly priced, but as I start to hire help and start to hire, you know, employees to help with things, I need to make sure I'm covering everything, which is absolutely terrifying. I don't know what I'm doing. On that same note though, I have a category help. So help. So I have this help category because one, I did not want to, I did not want to specifically share while I'm trying to be transparent. I did not want to give away everybody's like budget and income and all those things. I do have a couple people at this point helping me part time. I have a video editor that helps me from time to time. And then I have Caitlin helping me part time. So I'm going to be lumping my help my employees, the people that I'm getting on a part-time basis, just lumping all of their money together, but I still wanted to track it. So I thought this was the best of both worlds. I can still track the money, but you guys don't know exactly how much is going to who for how many hours they're working and things, because I felt like that would be an overshare that's not quite my place to share. Okay, so we covered our weekly, we covered our monthly and our monthly for the business. Let's move into these next categories that should go a little bit quicker because I'm not needing to do as many stickers. I don't even know if I'm needing to do any stickers. Okay, so there are just a few stickers, but for the most part, we're just categorizing these to make sense. Okay, so this blue binder is going to be our quarterly binder. Let me explain to you guys quickly what I'm thinking. I think with the quarterly binder, it's things that I'm going to want to either complete within the quarter or I might take the money out and get it into the bank so it's not just sitting here and I would do that every single quarter. So we are gonna keep roll the dice in here and one month ahead. I would love to finish one month ahead within the quarter, maybe not every single quarter, but for this quarter, I would like for this to be a focus. Next, let's put gas as a quarterly focus. We did complete this gas tracker so we made that happen also in the quarterly binder we are going to put new clothes i would love to complete this within this quarter get myself some new clothes at the end of the quarter next is sports we are actually going to put in a new sports because i'm about to spend all of the money that i have been saving towards sports i'm going to be spending that on getting the kids in the next round of sports my thinking of why this is a quarterly category is because i think i would like to now that I know the seasons, try to have the entire quarter saved up at a time. So before I'm like, I don't know when money is due, I don't know how much is due, but if we do it this way, I can try to think ahead, okay, well in this next quarter, we have soccer and we have basketball. So these are the fees and this is the amount that I need for sports this coming quarter. Does that make sense? Next, we have gifts snacks and books. My thinking is the same as with the sports, but I think that this can be gifts money, snack money, and book money for this quarter. And if it actually doesn't end up getting spent in the quarter, we can put that money in the banks in the bank towards just like an emergency savings. We don't have to spend it, but we can restart that category and put that money to use since it didn't get used previously. Next category for this quarterly is going to be field trips. So this is saving for field trips throughout the quarter, or perhaps someday we can be even a quarter ahead, but same kind of thinking, this is money that's set aside for field trips. So we can use it this quarter. If we don't end up using it, then maybe we can save it towards the next quarter or even something like putting it away towards an emergency savings. I'm using a gamer prints because I thought that would be super fun since it's some of the, like one of the kids categories not the kids category but something that got left out of our binders for a little while and it shouldn't have is car insurance so i only pay for car insurance twice a year it's not necessarily something that i need quarterly but i thought it fit here the best out of everything and perhaps in the quarter we can take the money out put it away save so kind of thinking so one more thing that needs to go here is a pantry stockpile this is something that we spent recently but we really need to get it back in our binder get it back on our mind this is something i would like to complete within the quarter and then go shopping for that pantry stockpile at the end of the quarter i do realize we're starting all of this like not at the start of an actual quarter we're starting this at the end of july so the start of july but better late than never I wanted to organize it and make it make sense in my brain if you guys are still with me thank you so much I know this video is very long but I appreciate you being here we are almost done let's go ahead and do our 
yearly binder. So yearly binder being things that come around once a year. So within this year, I would like to complete this 100 envelope savings challenge. This of course goes towards a down payment for my car. If my car keeps working, maybe we can put it towards a house down payment in a year. We will see, but that's like a big goal. Next is birthday. Birthdays for my boys come around once a year. Their birthdays are back to back and this is a savings for them. Their birthdays are in one month. So we will be restarting this soon but it is really something for me that comes around just once a year. Now, if you have several kids, you might wanna put birthday in your quarterly goals because it might be something that comes around every quarter or so for you. But for me, it makes sense to put that category in my yearly goals. Christmas is obviously once a year, so that is my Christmas savings. The kids go back to school. I, of course, recently pulled this tracker because we spent everything that was in our back to school envelope, but let's go ahead and put it back so we are ready for the start of next school year. Again, that's a once a year expense and thing that comes up. Okay, 100, so let's go back in. And even before back to school, we have summer camp. So this is saving for summer camps for next summer for my boys. I've already started this, but we're gonna go ahead and put this in our once a year binder. And we are going to put, let's pull sports so we can use this envelope. I'm gonna need that sports money soon. Like I said, my boys are going to be for the upcoming sports, but let's use this envelope for right now for Florida. I love this new print. I'm so excited about it. I wish I would have used it for one of my other binders where I got to use more of the categories, but still excited. So Florida, we are actually going to put the money that was in Florida previously. We're gonna put it right here. Oh, okay, so I didn't even explain myself with this one. This is something that I'm planning on going to Florida soon for a like a day trip, but I think long-term I would like to go to Florida, like Orlando, Florida. I took my boys once. I talked about it in a recent live that we did here, but I would like to take my boys on another trip. Like we stay in a hotel, we do Disney maybe one day, we do Legoland one day. So that would be a yearly trip that I would love to start, not something that we've done previously, but the reason that it's in this yearly category is because this would obviously be something we need to slowly save over time to go on a trip like that. So that has been moved there. The only categories that are left for this binder, triple A. So we are going to triple A comes around once a year. I want to say for me, it's $120. So I want to make sure I'm saving for that. How do you guys like the idea of these binders? Like, let me know in the comments, do you like the idea of categorizing things by how often they come around, which is basically what I'm doing here. So AAA is a once a year thing. And the only other category I have, which is a new category, something that was put on my radar because the pump got run over. And y'all, I don't even know if I mentioned it, but my pump for the pool recently went out. So I bought a new pump and then this one, this was the brand new pump that got run over. So because it's sort of on my mind today and I was working on my budget today, but it really is something that should be in my budget is pool stuff. So next year, I would love to get the boys a little bit of a bigger pool. I don't know if we will, but even if we don't, we need chlorine for the pool. There's always chemicals and things that you need, which end up totaling maybe a couple hundred dollars even for a small pool like what I have and if you have a bigger pool of course it's going to cost even more with all of the chemicals and things but maybe this could be saving for a new pool and then eventually I would love to have an in-ground pool at some point if I can get my life to a, like in-ground pool level right um Either way though, this is basically a yearly expense that's going to come around every single summer. I will have pool needs, whether it be a new pump, whether it be chemicals, maybe it's saving for an in-ground pool. I don't know, but it's something that's gonna come around every single year. So I wanted to go ahead and add that to that binder. Last binder, and we are done with this video. I don't know tomorrow if we will go through and take out some money out of some priorities and like shift them around, or maybe we will have a regular cash stuffing, but I'll definitely be back tomorrow for something, something like that. Our last binder here though is for long term. So for now, I don't have medical expenses that come up monthly, though that will change at some point, but for now we're just gonna keep medical here. Next, we have emergency savings. Again, we don't plan on an emergency happening, but that is a good long-term thing to like keep running and keep it going. 
Next is a new phone. I don't plan on needing or wanting a new phone, but at some point phones break. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a new phone category. Last two categories for this binder and for our entire reshuffle is retirement. That is obviously long-term thinking and then legacy, which I'm using as a donation card. So maybe once a year, once every couple of years, we will find something good to donate to, but it's something that I would like to keep on my mind and keep running. We did end up pulling emergency prep because I feel like it is kind of redundant on the roll the dice challenge. So I wanted to go ahead and do away with that, but I think that's it. So we did end up pulling a little bit of money from teacher because we didn't quite need that money just yet we pulled a little bit of money from sports because I need to pay for sports for my kids and we pulled from emergency prep because having those redundant or like repeated categories just made me feel kind of all over the place I guess we can go ahead and count this money see what we have I will be honest and say Probably all of it is going to go to sports because I wasn't quite prepared for all of the sports coming up. So I am going to be putting my boys in basketball and soccer. Those are both coming up soon. We don't have a lot basketball. We don't own a soccer ball. So I will be needing to buy all, all of the equipment and all of the fees that are associated with both of those sports. 50, 150, 250, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 410, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 452 dollars a lot of that will be going towards sports some of it might end up getting restuffed tomorrow we will see i'm gonna think about this a little bit longer but that is it if you made it all the way through this video thank you i appreciate you this is a much slower video than what i typically have and it's a little bit different from what i normally have and i usually don't have all of these binders at once, right? I normally have a couple binders on Monday and a couple binders on Friday, but here's all the things. As always, I appreciate you, I love you, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.